Hey folks, this is Vagrant. Welcome to our next brand new playthrough. Today we're going to start Dave the Diver. This was a hyper successful little indie game. I say indie game, not really. <laughs> that came out last year. Well, it was in early access and it came out officially in 1.0 late last year. Um, it seems to have tons of things that I really like in this style of game. You know, it should be have some sort of cozy sort of vibes, but loads of little mini games and yada yada yada. A fun sense of humor and a cool pixel aesthetic. Um, I was waiting for it to come out of early access for absolutely ages, and then by the time it did, you know, we just had other things running on the channel at the same time, so I couldn't get started on it. But that changes today, so let's start a new game and uh, give it a go. And it's broken. <laughs> oh, no, I have to hold it. Yeah, I had a little test to just make sure everything was working all right. We are looking good. It's a very ominous new game noise, isn't it? There we go. Some nice tropical vibes. That's what I need in my life right now. <laughs> I've just just finished working out and my arms do not work. So, Cobra. <laughs> oh, Dave, you got here quickly. <laughs> I was told to hurry here. I was on vacation, you know. So where's the sushi at? <laughs> Don't rush yourself. Have a look around. Look at this giant blue hole we've all been there. I've never seen anything like this. Not just the size, every time you enter the giant blue hole, <laughs> the terrain and ecology changes, which means this could be an incredible business opportunity. What kind of business? Uh, we can discuss that later. I heard you took a break from diving. How about warming up? I'll guide you from here. Go ahead and go on in. Mm, I have a good feeling about this. A sushi bar by the blue hole. My temptation is to give Dave a voice, but then I feel like if I do that, <laughs> he's going to talk so much throughout the game. I don't want to commit. Go on, Dave. You got this, son. I've been scuba diving a few times myself. I'm a big fan. I very much resembled Dave back in those days in my scuba suit. <laughs> nice form. Haha. <laughs> All right. How about try stretching out a little bit? Try moving to the marked area. With left trigger, you can move quickly. Remember, it speeds up oxygen consumption. Get in. Go. Like a merman. Looks like your skills are intact, your moves are as nimble as a freshwater snail. Let's practice using the weapon you'll need in contingencies, the dive knife. Try using the survival knife on a small fish. Okay, you just changed the name of it. What? On guard fish! <laughs> on guard! <laughs> well done, smooth and quick. And finally, you haven't forgotten how to use the harpoon, have you? The harpoon? Well, I haven't used... No, no, we're not going to fall into these cliches because he's a big lad. He goes, bum, ba, dum, ba, dum, ba, dum. <laughs> 
Mike Tyson is a big lad and he talks like this. He's one of like, do you aim first then? Hmm, looks like you need some practice. Let's try using the harpoon to catch some fish. Aim with A and fire with RT. Aim with A. Ah, oh, wow. Pew! Gotta feel bad for the fish. <laughs> I'm a monster. <laughs> I think that should get you back on track in no time. Come back up to the boat. He is he's nimble and elegant. Like a freshwater snail. Now they get a hang of it, let's get down to business. Dave, you love sushi, right? For sure, that soft fish meat with oily rice. Oh man, it's just the best. Aha, well listen up, I've got a friend who's a sushi chef. Sushi, sushi, sushi chef who left the business for a while. Bit of a sharp tongue and a slight temper, but it's one skill I guarantee is unmatched in this world. Right here that I started a restaurant with my friend that sells one-of-a-kind sushi. Sushi sold here is... I can't say the word sushi. Sushi sold here is made from fresh, fresh fish caught in the blue hole, where fish from all over the world can be found. Don't you think people will go nuts for it? Yum, I'm already craving it. Ha <laughs> ha I bet. So, why don't you join in on this awesome venture as well? What do you say? I mean... I love eating, but I don't know a thing about cooking. Nothing to worry about, the restaurant is all ready. All you need to do is dive to get the ingredients. Don't sound too bad, right? Decline. <laughs> I can eat as much sushi as I want. Yeah, sure. You have to pay, though. Can't wait to check it out. The sushi restaurant next to the blue hole. It's supposed to open tonight. I'm not sure if it's ready. Let's go have a chat at the restaurant. Press X and the arrow to go to the sushi bar. It's a novel idea, to say the least. Visually, the game is awesome, and also, I've not got it installed quite yet, but it will be for next time. Um, they did a free crossover DLC with Dredge, which is a very logical mix, I suppose, so I'm quite excited to see what that happens. Hey, Bancho, are we all ready to open? Bancho is the coolest guy. Ready just in time. It's already finished? You. Ha, you were the fisherman Cobra was talking about. More of a diver than a fisherman. Dave is not happy, is he? <laughs> All right. Anyway, nice to meet you, man, Bancho. You like sushi? I sure do. Tuna belly, eel, sushi. Oh boy. Just thinking about it makes my mouth water. Hmm. Just as mediocre as expected. Bancho, there's no need for that. Sushi is a food that combines the soul of sea and land. It symbolizes mother nature herself. Most people, however, have only tasted more accessible fish just like you. How empty a life is one that ends without ever tasting the beauty Mother Nature can offer. My calling is to bring the taste of Mother Nature to everyone. Oh. What the hell is that? This is called Karma Bancho. An earthquake? Hmm, the interior is really quite a mess. Yeah, looks like we'll have to delay the opening. You know what? I spent all my money getting this restaurant ready after we've covered the repair costs through doing business. In this state? Wahaha! In the end, the importance of a restaurant is in the taste. We need ingredients. Did you ring anything? Ah, I've got something I just caught. Only three fish? This won't be nearly enough. Please go catch seven more fish. Oh, and the restaurant is going to be open only in the evening. One of the decreased sales. You think we should invite customers without adequate preparation just to make a little more money? It is a chef's duty to prepare the best possible food with meticulous precision, just as a warrior sharpens his sword on a whetstone. You will need to get me the best quality ingredients during the day. Okay. Bum ba dum ba dum. <laughs> I'm sorry, Dave. Everyone's got a make all Dave. It's a funny old game, this, because it's it's made by, I want to say, Chinese developers or South Korean developers, I can't quite remember. And it's backed by... Tencent or whoever they're called, you know, the big, the one that's owned by the Chinese government. But it screams Western developer. It seems Bancho is really passionate about his work. He may not talk about personal stuff, but this guy can talk about sushi all night. Waha! <laughs> Although the way that this character laughs after every line is very East Asian, I would say, dialogue-wise. I haven't seen Bancho so, enth so enthusiastic since the incident. Dun, dun, dun. It's nice to see him like this. The incident. Oops, maybe I shouldn't have brought it up. Well, anyway, we need more ingredients. Go catch seven fish. <clears throat> okay, so we need to make 100 gold and catch seven fish. Go on, Dave. Ah, oh, look at it. What a beaut. <laughs> I love how he goes in. It's fantastic. Okay, so... Yeah. That is a... Called again. A blue tang. That's the one. Come here, tangy. Maybe we do want like a variety of fish? 
Corgi. Finish off with one of you. No, we're not finished off. That's three. We got a, a Rainbow Rass. It's a funny little thing because I, I love animals. I love fish. I love games that kind of, you know, mess around with animals. Oh, what is this? Piece of wood. All right. And I, 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 I quite enjoy hunting games. And yet I don't advocate for hunting in the slightest. It's a very weird mental disconnect. Like, I quite liked playing The Hunter. Uh, when I did play it. But it's like a trophy hunt. It's not hunting for food, which I think is okay. It's hunting for, like, trophy hunting, which I think is abhorrent. <laughs> so, it's it's a very weird... But I enjoy the game. And obviously, that doesn't not make sense. It's not like, you know, you play people play Call of Duty. It's not like they actually enjoy murdering people. But it is an odd one. I guess I'm... I was wondering if I could, like, beat this thing down until it works, but I don't think so. I've got all the fish I need. What do I do? Catch more fish. More fish, more money. More money, more problems. Right into my trap, you tangy son of a gun. <laughs> it's a seahorse. Oh. Am I not allowed the seahorse? I'm not allowed the seahorse. <laughs> I can't imagine harpooning a seahorse is going to go well. <laughs> <laughs> Things, it's like when people hunt like rabbits and stuff and they use a shotgun or something and the thing just gets obliterated. Two star Porgy, baby. Porgy's the ones with a weird head, right? Right, how do I leave? Ah, okay. That should be plenty. I've not had sushi in ages, you know. I could go for some sushi. All right, looks like you caught quite a few. This rate will make boatloads of money in no time. Wah! My, my, would you look at the time? We'll have to hurry and get things ready. Why don't you head up to the sushi bar? What a beautiful night. Like my biggest fish, 30 centimeters. What's that in inches? 12, yeah, that's big. <laughs> Sorry, all right. Wrap up your day and get things ready at Bancho Sushi. By the way, you'll only be able to dive once in the morning, once in the afternoon. Get the ingredients ready before the dinner hours start. Okay. Do anything. I drive the boat, I do the diving. Do you do anything? Just sort of standing there? How are the preparations coming along? Hmm. I think we're mostly sun. That's good. Here's to a great evening. Where do you think you're going? Didn't you hear from Cobra? You ought to help me run the sushi bar from today onwards. What? I, I, I don't understand. What are the labor laws about this? I'm working like 12 hours a day. Cobra told me there would be somebody to help with the ingredients and serving. He said all I needed to do was cook. And who else is there for that but you? I've never worked at a restaurant before. The guests will be here soon. Give you a quick primer. Pay attention. What? Open ingredients below. Oh. Here you can check your fish, crops, sources, and all the other materials you have. For now, that's all you need to know. Sure. I'll show you how to register items on the menu. I've got hiccups. Don't tell anyone. New recipes need to be added to the menu before they can be sold to the customers. A sushi recipe for the fish you acquired earlier. Try registering. Okay. Okay. So each one's got a money value and like a happiness value, seemingly. Well, the tang seems like the best one. Oh, the ras. Mm, well, the ras, we've got six. Okay. All right, probably wasn't that hard. Take ingredients to auto supply and make things a bit more convenient. Let me repeat, only food on the menu can be sold. If you run out of ingredients, you have to replace items on the menu or refill ingredients. You can also enhance the flavor. Try it when you have enough ingredients. Now use the ingredients you caught to fill the menu out. So that, and I want the tang. And... I guess I'm just going to go with the ones that we've got the, the most for, just in case. All right. How long are you going to stand there talking? Give me a cup of green tea to quench my thirst. Hmm, have you perhaps poured green tea before? No, only soft drinks, I think. Just cock. I'll tell you how. Go over to Cobra. Good. Ah, oh, beautiful. MLGT pouring. <laughs> okay, they, they, they pay more. As expected, Banjo's green tea is quite something. Hmm, that tea really got my appetite going. Is there something to eat, perhaps? Per chance. Demanding as always. Why don't you try serving him some food while you're at it? Need some sushi. 
that. Whoa. Come over to where I am and take this food. You can dash from serving food. LT to move quickly. <laughs> Look at him go. What a chat. Hello. You sent the package last week, you say. What in the world? Let me check on that. Did you, excuse me. Cobra didn't even eat. He's always distracted like that. The food can't be reused. Let's check it out. Such a waste. Banjo Sushi never reuses food. We do not put food made for guests on the table twice. Well, all right. But, but I, let me eat it. <laughs> Surely. Surely I can eat it. Everything looks about ready. Hmm. I haven't cut for customers in a while. Kind of nervous. Don't forget to press Y after filling the menu for business to begin. Customers order dish from the menu. Don't forget to register the dishes. Okay. Let's open up and give this a go, I suppose. What's that on the right? Looks like wasabi. Hello, welcome to the Bancho. I'm give you some green tea. I'm coming, I'm coming. Run. I'll have to hit the gym, you and me, <laughs> buddy. Gosh, you have to sit so far away. <laughs> Here you go, here you go. Don't you don't you worry about it. Don't you worry about it. I like. Absolutely nailing this, can't point that out. Heavy seller that third one, whatever it is. Look at this. Absolutely smashing it. What's that over there? <laughs> it's weirdly pressured. Oh, you're so far away. Why are you so far away? Come here. Ugh. Not bad, I think. We good? We look good. My big ones didn't bloody sell. It was my rubbish ones that sold. <laughs> Close for the day. Alright, I made 62 quid. It's not bad. Got, you know, five star. Oh, Artisan's Flame, whatever the heck that is. Not bad. Just saying. Might be the greatest game that's ever lived. There's, you know, there's some evidence to support that. Phew, work's finally done for the day. My back and legs are. Oh, you and me both, buddy. I'm in agony today. Actually, let me bring these down. Oh, that's not helpful. Oh, that's so much worse. You're a bit clumsy, but. Ugh, not bad for a first. Oh, no, that's terrible. I'm, I'm moving the arms on my desk chair, and <sighs> it's, it's. I did school crushes today, so I can't lift my arms, and they don't work. And I'm just sad. Someone hold me. <laughs> You're a bit clumsy, but not bad for a first day. Try a little. I was literally perfect. A man should not feel gratification from simple compliments. Yeah, yeah. All right. Insults would have a field day with that one. Any case, a toast to the opening of banjo sushi. A little appreciation would be nice. PPL Express. Oh. Uh, keep an eye out. Oh, God. I think that was the dredge crossover. <laughs> I think that was just part of the game. Ellie. Oh, Max is called Ellie. Hmm. Are you the man who's been diving around it? I'm not doing a voice. I can't. Every woman I do sounds exactly the same, but it's all terrible. Yeah, I think so. Just, I was expecting a more professional. All right, screw you, Ellie. I can hear you, you know. In any case, can you do something for me? Shouldn't you tell me who you are first? I'm Ellie. I study biology at the local graduate school. What did my ex study? Oh, psychology. I've come back to investigate after reports of anomalies in the area. Satisfied. God, it really is my ex. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> okay, so what do you want? I'd like to study the ecology of the blue hole. Get me some agar and red starfish first. I don't think it's a good idea to ask for one of each. Get me two of each. Your tone makes me want to refuse. I've got a reward, but if you don't want it, that's fine by me. A reward? What? I wasn't refusing. I was just saying you could ask more nicely. 
In any case, please hurry. Don't dally. Okay. You can use your phone to access various types of content, check your current missions, and more. Look at this. There's something... The game is very slick. You know what I mean? Very, very slick. Just... Just, like, a lot of games would have this just in the middle of the screen. It would auto-pop. It's just... Yeah. Oh, yeah. Wait, 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 wait. What is it? I can't even remember. Um... <laughs> Turn it upside down. Did everyone do that in school? This is the thing, right? I don't know how popular calculators are in school. Do people use their phones in schools now? I have no idea. Do people still use calculators? Or do people... Is it, have we moved past the calculators? This was the thing. This was very much the thing in school. Because we were children. Very literally. Okay, so we've nearly done the money. We need to get some agar and some starfish. You me, Davy boy. I mean, we need to get some fish, obviously, for the... um the sushi restaurant. Got some tangs while I'm here. Don't think you can get away. Death has come for you and his name is Dave. <laughs> I always knew it would end like this. I think it's probably good because you can only have four things on the menu. You probably do want several of the same fish, don't you? There's no point going with, like, one rare fish. You need a bunch. And then you've got something to actually round out your menu properly. So I'm going to grab a bunch of... Th I don't know if your fish carry on. Oh, right. I th what I think it'll be... Unused fish probably stay. But if you put them on the menu, if you put all of them on the menu and they don't sell, then that fish is gone, kind of thing. So we won't have any blue tanks, you know? What have we got in here? Shock bang stick. All right. Oh! Okay. Oh! Oh! Okay, I didn't, I wasn't, I wasn't expecting that. I panicked. Yellowback Fusilier. Oh no, my arms. I'm not ready for this. <laughs> I'm not physically prepared. Come here. Come here. Oh, what is that? You're a bit. Oh, it's a puffer fish. Hello. Oh, yeah, I'm not going to get you, am I? Is that what I'm looking at? What are you? That's a sea urchin. Ah, it hurts. Oh, I need better gloves for that. Okay, that's interesting. I, I want to see all the fish as well, so. Lagoon Triggerfish. God, every fish down here requires a little bit of work. Oh, I'm tired already. Now oh, refills my oxygen. That's cool. Get banged. Get banged. No, it didn't work. Get banged. Does that work? I don't think so. Get banged. <laughs> okay. Okay, I just killed it. <laughs> oh, wait, no, it does work. Nice. If you exceed your weight limit, you'll slow down. If you exceed a higher amount, you won't be able to carry anymore. Oh. Okay, well, let me just harvest this thing. Uh, whew, right, I want to keep that. But I got 10 of those from that. That was loads. Um... Still overweight. God damn. There we go. Okay, there's the agar. Just need to find a starfish somewhere. Oh god. Um.
Okay, let's see if we can find a single starfish. And then we'll bang some, <laughs> we'll bang some things a little bit more. What is that? Ah! Oh, skate pod. Okay, probably necessary. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get out of here, I think. If you exceed your weight limit, you'll slow down. Oh, okay. New content, escape pod. Escape to your boat as quickly as possible. Check your ceiling first as... Should be fine, I think. Let's get the heck out of here! Oh, that's cool. So we still need one more starfish, but we got a lot of stuff. And uh, yeah, that parrotfish, humongous thing. Very cool. And yeah, Kajimi. We've got like some seafood. Dave, did you get to loosen up yesterday? Hmm, still a nasty fish. Won't be easy to go any deeper. Didn't notice that the fish in the blue hole have an odd violent streak. Perhaps something puts them on edge. Well, I am trying to murder them. <laughs> Speaking of which, why don't you also take a gun in addition to the harpoon? A gun? Typical bloody Americans, I tell you. I have a friend who's knowledgeable about guns. I'll introduce you to him. Duff. He does look like the type, doesn't he? Wow, Cobra, been a while. Who's the goofy looking guy next to you? Sorry, that wasn't the nicest thing to say to a stranger. I'm Dave, a professional diver. Interesting, I thought divers were athletic and muscular. You seem to defy my prior knowledge. Duff, have you heard about the phrase stones in glass houses? <laughs> Thank you, Dave. Good egg. Mm -hmm. What's this about? Let you get straight to the point. <coughs> oh, excuse me. I've begun a very interesting business. Ha ha ha. I need some weapons and stuff. I need your help. Season 2 of Straw Stella just ended anyway. I'll give you a listen. Alright, discovered a fascinating giant blue hole. The training ecology inside it changes every time you go inside. Oddly, any equipment found inside breaks down when brought out. I'd like you to make us a weapon that can be used inside. Rather interesting. You've piqued my interest as a weapon researcher, you could say. My hypothesis is that anything that's not made from materials found in a blue hole will continue to break down. This will be especially true of guns which have precision parts. Hmm, we'll have to get the materials from the sea ourselves. <laughs> Dave, you'll have to prove yourself as a diver to this master duff. Not sure why I should prove myself to you. Tell me what we need. It appears you have no guns at all. Let's start with something easy. A rope and a scrap iron. Okay. We don't have oxygen midway. You'll only be able to make it back with one item. Sure. I think I can go back in, can't I? Yeah. It's now the afternoon. Go for one more dive. So we need rope, scrap iron, and a starfish. I, you know, we've kind of, this is the gameplay loop, as it were, and I can see the, it's a pretty, pretty nice gameplay loop. I can see the entertainment. Grab some fishy wishies. And grab this old boot over here, there we go. So, let's see if we can find... What's that over there? Oh, wow. Okay, I'm not gonna get to... I think I've got plenty of fish anyway, so I'm not gonna worry too much about that. What is this? It's another bank stick, yeah. Okay. Hello. We got ah. There's the rope. Ow! I'm not allowed the sea urchin. <laughs> I must learn that I'm not allowed the sea urchin. Okay. Cool. A bit more agar. What's this? I can get so far anyway. Ooh, lionfish. Oh god. Get banged. Get banged. <laughs> that was our first aggressive fish. I may as well, you know, completely screw up. Yeah. Oh, bloody hell, you were a tough one. I think the blue tang is going to be my, my signature dish, as it were. Got 0.5 kilograms left. That'll do. All right, never mind. Let's get out of here. God, I'm so slow. Uh, yeah, we're going to have to drop something. 
Um, I should have just done that from the start. It's okay, Dave. We're getting you out of here, buddy. We're getting you out of here. Like all games like this, I'm expecting many upgrades down the line, you know. Managed to uh, dive deeper and deeper. I think you'd actually manage to bring it back. I expect you to quietly expire in the depths, you could say. Seems I've underestimated you slightly. Very well. I'll show you how to make the basic underwater rifle. Download Duff's weapon shop on your phone. Well optimized. Only 42 megabytes, you could say. <laughs> Alright, cool. Gun that can be fired underwater. There we go. Neat explanation like that, even someone like you should have understood. Guess. One more thing, taking some measures to allow you to open weapon chests underwater. Wow, weapon chests? You can't bring them out of the sea, they can still come in handy, you could say. <laughs> I'll collect info about the weapons you pick up and create blueprints for you. Weapons made with a blueprint won't break down underwater. In any case, this master will be watching you. Goodbye, eternity. What? <laughs> you can craft weapons at Duff's Weapon Shop. Acquiring a weapon a certain number of times will complete a blueprint, making the weapon craftable. Right, okay. Early. You actually brought them back. I guess I expected too little of you. Are you just quoting my ex girlfriend at this point? This should do for now. I'll give you a reward as promised. You helped me do my research. The sudden ecological changes in this region will need to be studied further. I'll continue to need your services. Add my number. It seems like a weird thing to give me. <laughs> like she sent me down to do ecological research and then she gives me some soy sauce. Seems strange. Oh Dave, you collected a hundred gold. Great job, should be enough to repair what's broken. Then give me some time. These repairs need to be done right. I hope the customers keep coming. Wait, why am I repairing Bancho Sushi? When do I get paid? Wrap up your day, get things ready, okay. Well, that was a very productive day, to say the least. It's funny, I've been thinking recently about how I would really like to have like a little beachside beach bar kind of thing, you know, in Spain or something like that. Um, and uh, this, this is giving me that vibe. Menu, right. So what are we gonna add today? We've got six blue tangs. So this is what I mean. So we've got loads of rainbow wrasse, right? Oh god, the parafish is worth tons. Hands. Okay. So I can use the rainbow wrasse, three of them, to make it better and to level up the recipe, basically. I think we'll do that. Because it doubles the happiness. Oh no, the fish. <laughs> oh no, buddy, I'm so sorry. That's just mean. I could do it again. I think any of them that I've got loads off, I'm going to do it for. Okay. It's not going on the menu. I'm just upgrading it, basically. I don't know. I've kind of messed up. Okay, that's fine. All right, that'll do. I think. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> We're just figuring it out as we go, you know. Wasabi. I do like a little bit of wasabi. What do you want, buddy? What can I get you? Place seems different. Yeah, it's falling apart. <laughs> like it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, a large health risk to say the least. Oh. 
Look at that, absolutely bang on. Dave, we're gonna work on your stamina, okay? That's gonna, that's gonna be first priority. Shouldn't be such a torment if someone sits miles away, you know? Melts in the mouth, yeah. Run, Dave! Run! Okay, there we go. If people could stop saying it melts in the mouth, that'd be fantastic. What did I just say? What did I just say? Stop sitting so far away. Come over here. Look at me. Look at who is serving you. And sit appropriately. Three out of seven, three out of five. I'm kind of keeping an eye on how much fish we're wasting. So, so far it's quite a lot. I think this is the last customer. Actually, well, it's more like, so we've sold three, two, four. We sold nine pieces of sushi. They've made a lot more money though. Jesus. But if we only we only sold nine pieces of sushi. Um So we need to adjust for that in the future. Like maybe 12, 13 rather than 20. You know what I mean? I don't want to throw away fish. Especially when the fish can be used to level us up. Well level up the recipes, I suppose. Alright. <laughs> hey Dave, by any chance. Dr. Bacon. I'm not gonna trust a lad called Dr. D this is like Dr. Jinx on Always Sunny in Philadelphia. Yes, what is it, sir? Wow, I'm always right about these things. Haha! -ha. Nice to meet you, I'm Dr. Bacon. I'm an archaeologist who studies the Sea People civilization. Sea people? Ah, I'll explain it to you. Aren't you lucky to have an expert like me to tell you about them? Maybe I shouldn't have asked. <laughs> God, it's just like Coral Island all over again. <laughs> the Sea People live in legend. They worshipped fish and had gills, allowing them to live underwater. They lived in the depths, allowing them to flourish without any concern for invasions by other civilizations. Aww, they got a dugong. Sudden changes to the sea bottom brought about their abrupt downfall. That's all there is to the story. Everyone thinks it's a myth and nothing more, of course, but proof that they were real was found right here in the vicinity of this place. Huh? An amazing find, one that could turn the whole academic world upside down. Ancient civilization under the sea, you'd only see such things in comic books or games. What makes you so sure they were real? My assistant closely analyzed an artifact found nearby and found it's from no known civilization. Dated to around 1500 years ago as well. No civilization in these parts back then. Yeah, it's interesting. What business do you have with me? Well, you see, my assistant's cryptocurrency investments didn't pan out. He won't be around for a good while. I'd like you to help me. No. Assistant told me the artifact was found 70 meters or so below the surface. Please go take a look. Mm, I'm busy with the sushi bar. Don't think we can. Aha! Sorry to interrupt the conversation. I'm Cobra. I work with Dave. Of course we should help you. We'll gladly do so. Yeah ha ha! <laughs> Not time to swim around search for artifacts. Think about it. If an underwater civilization is discovered, countless people will flock here. Bancho sushi will be bursting at the seams. Hmm, so you have a point. Alright, I'll help. Aha! <laughs> Isn't that lucky? Oh, of course. I won't be asking you to work for free. I'll upgrade the diving suit you're wearing for free. Wow! Enhanced diving suit, you'll be able to venture deeper, essential for exploration. These days, even such things can be handled by an app. <laughs> Technological advancements are amazing, eh? Let's install the iDiver app. Okay. Maybe the sea people want to be left alone. Maybe we can sell the sea people at Bancho Sushi. iDiver app allows you to enhance various diving equipment. Okay. So the app, you unlock your phone. Let's have a little look here. Upgrade the diving suit for free. Okay, some depth limit goes from 40 to 80. Not bad. We'll venture a bit deeper. Once you have enough money, use it to enhance your equipment. Cargo box and oxygen. See you later, Dr. Bacon. Traces of the Sea People, Chapter 1. Okay, let's have a little look at this. I mean, I can do my air tank as well. And the cargo box. Can I do both? Yeah. Yeah, I think so. Well, I mean, I know I can. All right, sweet. I think the weight increase is probably the biggest deal in a way early on. 
giant trevally. It needs like an endless ocean encyclopedia, I think. I suppose it's probably got one. Right, what are we blue tying, <laughs> my beloved? Ah. It's good in a way, you because in a way you kind of want to keep getting the same fish, right? Because you want to you want to upgrade it. And then um Yeah, you want to upgrade it. Doesn't make sense to pick up every fish. What have we got here? A new gun. Gun enhancement, a single-use parts kit used to enhance guns. Oh, okay. Ah, right, so the gun... Okay, interesting. Come here, you. I didn't actually mean to get you, but... <laughs> Don't think... Come here. I've murdered your friend. Let's just live in the world. We know what's about to happen to you as well. Come here. No! <laughs> There's some O2 around here, so I don't really need it right now, though. Yeah, whatever. I'm aware that I'm not going to come back and get it, so I may as well just grab it now, you know? Okay, well, we can dive deeper now, so we should, we should take advantage of that. What is this? Oh, Kajimi. It's like we can dive deeper, but I'm not sure my uh, my fishing equipment can necessarily handle what we're gonna see down here. But we'll have a little poke. What is? Are they bullets? They look like bullets. Yeah. Now I've got full ammo. Okay. And um, we've got in here hush dart, a non-lethal tranquilizer gun. Tranquilized creatures will be of high grade. Great. Okay. Pick up new weapons allows you to collect blueprints when you reach a certain number of blueprints. You've got to craft the weapon. Alright. So, do I... Ah! Leave me alone! Leave me alone! No! There we go. Okay, oh yeah, look, full, really good... Really good grade. Nice! Okay, what have we got here? Like a cooking pot. Salt. Run away! <laughs> Run away! <laughs> ah! As a big boy, a Titan trick. 3.8 kilograms. That bloody fish. Right, getting a little deep here. Getting a little spooky. What are you? Are you new? You're new. Come here. Come here. Oh, this is what I was concerned about. That'd get down. Ooh. Okay. I was concerned that I'd get down here and I wouldn't be able to actually get anything. Wait, it's getting a little heavy as well. <laughs> I'll, I'll teach you. Oh, uh, let's see if we can. Uh... That was a little harsh, I find. How heavy is this? Okay. Perfect. Let's get out of here. 13 kilos out of 13 kilos. That's exactly what you want to see. Oh, God. Wah. Wah. <laughs> I'm just showing them who's boss, all right? They need to know. It's me, by the way. I'm boss. Now, I didn't get much fish. I guess we need to swap between what we're... Like, sometimes we're going to need to get a lot of fish. Sometimes we want to explore and get random things. Like, make sure we get any weapon box we find. Poison harpoon tip. Oh, damn. We need the surface, so whilst we've still got a bit of O2, it makes sense to, to grab some fish, I think. Oi. Look, if I point at you, I expect you to die, okay? <laughs> I don't need this attitude from... Stop it. Do as I command, fish. Thank 
you. Okay, let's get uh, one more. I don't think there's any negative to having too many fish until the weight gets like insane, you know? And, and obviously, especially when you're near the surface is what I, uh, is what I mean. Okay, so one or two on the hush dart. Nothing on the poison tip though, so that must not be an upgrade. That Titan trigger fish is very cool though. Thanks, Pancho. Dave, while you're out to see, the repairs were completed. Let's head to the restaurant. Nice! With my money. Can I point this out, though? Looking very nice. I got an achievement. Doesn't matter how delicious the food is, the restaurant can't be a mess. Didn't, is that the opposite of what you said? <laughs> if you want to change the interior, the interior menu is below. Okay. You can now freely change up the interior of Pancho Sushi using interior... Ah, but as the Dr. Bacon said, if there remains to see people are found here, customers will indeed come, but the area is kind of remote. We need to find a way to advertise the store till then. Yeah, these days it's just about impossible to attract customers without publicity. Ah, if you try the social media app named Cookstar. <laughs> you mean the social media app young people use to post pictures of the food they eat? Yeah, that's how all businesses are promoting themselves lately. Can't understand why people would waste their time like that. Pancho, this is the first time I've agreed with you. Like, I don't mind people taking pictures of the food, but only if it's something incredible, visually. You know, it has to be something that looks insane. It's food, <laughs> you know. Visuals are important with food, but it's a very small part of the, <laughs> the whole experience. Sushi makes an impression on the heart, not photographs. Mm, even so, isn't it better to use it than to keep people ignorant of your food, Pancho? I have a point there. Making the account is simple, let's try it out. Register, make the hashtag Bancho Sushi, and then done. Not as complicated as I expected. Customers happy with your food will follow Bancho Sushi. Not sure about this, but alright, I got it. I'll install Cookstar and check the follower posts. Okay. Raise your rating in Cookstar. More customers will visit, and new foods will be unlocked. The unlock conditions and new ratings can be seen in the Cookstar app. Okay, let's have a little look. <laughs> okay. Okay. Throw some likes out. So that's Cobra's beige. So I need 10 followers on Cookster <laughs> to get new recipes, a new menu slot, kitchen staff, and more wasabi. It doesn't tell me how. It just says I need followers. So it doesn't tell me how to get followers. And then we can also do interior. I wonder if there's any benefit to spending more money. That was better, I think. Okay, um, see you later. Kitty cat. Oh, Momo. See you later. We can do one more dive. I'm not going to open the restaurant early. How many missions do I? Oh, no, I've got to find a sea people. Oh, okay. I didn't see that at all. <laughs> so we need to go to 70 meters. Find traces of the sea people. I'm gonna ignore the fish along the way. Oh, hello. <gasps> hello, it's Echo. Hello, Echo. Oh. A dolphin seems to be asking me to follow. Should I? Yeah, of course we're gonna follow it. Come on, buddy. Oh, <laughs> this is adorable. The temptation to shoot the dolphin is overwhelming. But as someone who grew up playing Echo the Dolphin and being a humongous fan of that game, I'm going to resist the temptation. I've seen like seven new fish along the way. They were just slightly annoying. <laughs> I'm just going to grab this. Triple Axle. Okay. I'm sorry, buddy. I'm here. I'm here. Let's go. Oh, hello. We just, I need it for the, the blueprints, right? I need to make sure we keep grabbing them. Ah! Oh, poison harpoon tip. We've been trapped. Okay, I got you. A pink dolphin's caught in the net. It's asking me to rescue its friend. I should cut that net. Yeah! Wah! 
Wow. Oh, X. <laughs> Why would it not be B? It's already established that I have a button for this purpose. There you go. Oh. It's kind of adorable. They left me a present. They left a gift. They even know dolphins have maze. How do you think they breed? Numpty. Pearl. Nice. A fragment of something. Escape pod. Alright. Oh, hello, new fish. Yeah. Oh, wow. Okay. Black and white snapper. Okay. Well, this is definitely a lot easier <laughs> than um, the old way. Oh, no. The lionfish. The lionfish. It's after me. Ah! It changes the direction. It can be a little confusing. You know, the black and white snapper isn't really black and white, is it? It's just black. <laughs> it's very black for a black and white creature. Which way are we going? Which way are we going? That way. Wrong way. Wrong way. Okay. So the poison one's pretty... S oh! Hello? <laughs> oh no. Well, you've been poisoned. Is that good? I don't know. I, 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 uh. Hook down a shark. That makes me feel bad. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Right, let's get out of here. There is a uh, skip pod over here. Yeah. Oh wait, no, I've got a um, no two thing. Yeah, all right, let's keep going. I don't think we're gonna get the sea people. Sea people, but we can. Leave me alone! <laughs> Leave me alone! <laughs> yeah, well, now we're gonna, uh, that was a big old trigger fish. Let's get out of here. I'll get to see people next time. I suppose. I can't see the sea people. Is that a joke? It's kind of a joke. It's joke adjacent. <laughs> There's something there. One out of two on the triple. White tip reef shark, 210 centimeters. Not bad. Cheers, Bancho. Already evening. I feel stiff. Yeah, me too. Even so, Bancho's working alone. I should probably help. I'm not eating a manager with two people with more customers coming in. Wrap up your day and get things ready at Bancho Sushi. Okay, I'm on it. We do need to hire some help, though, don't we? Not enough workers. Hmm. Oh, hello. Eat, drink, love. I would better not sign down very quickly. <laughs> Horrible stuff. Look, somewhere. I don't need to say that. Bancho Sushi Place, huh? Hmm. But Miss Yoshi. I came by because I heard this place is getting popular on Cookstar. The name gave me pause, but I think it's really your place. New food using never before saw ingredients. New food using never before seen ingredients. Can't taste this anywhere else. A taciturn but masculine chef. Wow, oh, did he mention me too? No, not really. Just in any case, what brings you all the way here, Miss Yoshi? Oh, various reasons. Wanted to check out the restaurant. Looks like you're still the same. Well, nothing to change. Simply continue on day by day, training myself. My goodness, that is the problem. You refused to listen to me last time in a similar fashion, and that's why you got booted from the hotel. Talking about that again. That's the customer's fault for judging the food without even trying it. How long will you continue treating customers that way? To keep making that terrible food? What do you mean terrible? Whole roasted shark head is an excellent dish. Shark has been used in cuisine in both the West and the East, and Korea has even used in ancestral rituals. Yeah, but shark hunting is a big problem and needs to be, like, curtailed. Not changed one bit. Let me judge for myself then whether it's food fit for consumption. I can tell you why I came. Fine then, I'll show you. Make sure you know the true taste of shark head meat. Pancho, isn't this development a bit sudden? Dave, oh, is this 
because I caught the shark. As a chef, this is a fight I can't back out of. My pride hangs in the balance. Get me a white tip reef shark head and olive oil. Did I already do this? You want me to catch a white tip reef shark? Yes, with your skills, it should be easy enough. Harpoon's not likely to take a good gun with you. Even so, finding a shark sounds way too dangerous. Do you mean to say you'll stand by and watch why my pride is trampled? The white tip shark is usually found in the ocean far to the right. Preposterous. Can only be killed with a gun. Hasrath does stuff to make me a gun. I'll search one in the blue hole. Okay. New content, special customer. Sometimes special customers with a backstory will hear of the sushi bar and visit. Learn dishes customers want through research and serve them to the customers. You can now research new recipes, use the arsenal from that. Okay. Okay. So I need three artisan's flames, which we have. <laughs> I chose a ball, though, let's be honest. All right, cool. What, what shock did I, where's my shock? I mean, I've got it, right? Yeah, I've already done it. So, uh, menu. There it is. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Okay, then we've got trigger fish. Mm, level up the lionfish. Don't need to watch this every time. <laughs> Once was enough. As much as I enjoyed seeing that fish in the distance. And this one as well. So I've got four slots. I've got three slots. This is kind of problematic because I've only got one of those and obviously that's going to Yoshi. Um, so I need about... I'm going to put four in each one is the current idea. I'm going to hope that's enough. Which means I'm going to level up the blue tank again. And what's our last one going to be? mess that up. Let's hope that's enough. Yeah, screw it. <laughs> it's going to be fine. <laughs> it's going to be fine. What's the worst that could happen? Absolutely bloody nothing, let me tell you. I've got the important thing, which is this. And then I've got... Oh, I've got five of these. Ugh. Disgusting as usual. The look of it just ruins my appetite. Even so, promises a promise. She loves it. She loves it. <laughs> How do you like it? It's good. It's tasty. I can taste the white tip reef shark fat inside the crispy whole roast. Not an overly cloying flavor. Is this, is this ginger? The ginger scent mixes with the strong flavor of the head. It's quite lovely. Mm, pardon me. Wasn't expecting it to be this good. The Book of Five Rings states that one should look at the essence of something instead of the appearance. Sharks look terrible on the outside, rude. They have robust meat and the head has a delicious taste. I feel... I, I have to disconnect how I feel about certain fishing practices from a game like this, which is very wholesome and funny in its sort of presentation. Well, it's not necessarily dealing with wholesome and funny <laughs> topics. Must admit, this is good. You passed, Bancho. Let me tell you why I'm here, then. The restaurant needs to hire people. I can help you with that. What do you mean? Still need to go out alone? It's already operating at full capacity. Things might be okay for now. You won't be able to cope when more customers come. Can't continue working alone, but it's not easy to find people I can trust. I'm Yoshi the Recruiter. This is what I do these days. Let's start by pointing out a hiring guard. I shouldn't have put so much on the menu. I didn't realize that. That would count for five. Hire employees to reduce the workload. They serve food or make cooking food faster. Pay close attention. Okay. Okay. <laughs> sure. Good. Recruitment recalls and then, okay, following day, tell you more tomorrow. Sure. Can I get back to work now? Yeah, so I've got plenty of things on the menu. Should be fine. Oh. 
No, oh, a little bit of spill there. That's fine. Just, just spill all over the customers. They're not going to mind. It's okay. Oh, I got a cookster review. There you go. Big head for you, buddy. Oh, everyone wants head today. Yeah, I heard it. I've got three likes. So I need ten. Four followers, not likes. Just gotta keep impressing people with my six skills. You gonna order anything, you numpty? Five out of ten. Not bad. We've got low. We've made a killing. That shark head must have gone for a lot of money. And it's now all gone. I'm gonna burn through. Eh, it's not gonna burn through that many, you know. The time's up. Uh, probably one customer left. I burnt through seven. But I thought the shark head was only one, so I would have burned through three, which is not bad. So I, I, I have kind of got the, the numbers roughly correct. Then I made a mistake. Oh, ho, ho. that's a lot of moolah. A lot of green. I say so. A lot of many, many dead people. <laughs> many, many dead green people. Maybe she's been added as a contact. Bunch of sushi uploaded a new post. And Ellie. And Yoshi. Got everyone's posting today. How do I save? I just quit? Oh no, I just saw it there. Okay. Right. Thank you very much for joining me. Uh, that was episode one. Next video, we'll check out the weapon shop and the cook shop and all that kind of jazz, and we'll keep going and see what else this game has to offer. Um, a lot of reviews mentioned that you know, you kind of keep getting new gameplay mechanics as you go through, new mini games and stuff like the game eases you in, but then new things keep getting added and added and added. Like, there's lots to look forward to as things change throughout the game. Um, it's enjoyable, it is. The gameplay loop is really satisfying, and the mix between the restaurant management and the diving is a very clever, logical mix. Um, even if I do have some reservations about the shark and stuff like that. I mean, responsible fishing practices are responsible fishing practices. And this blue hole appears to be an ecological, unique entity. So I don't feel bad about doing it in the game. It's more just when I think about how it's being treated in the wider world. Does me playing the game really have an impact on that? No, not whatsoever. But that doesn't really make a difference to me psychologically. It's not a big deal. We're fine. We're going to carry on playing. I'm enjoying it so far. Hope you are too. Thanks for joining me. Cheers much as always. Bye-bye.